Firstly, Karen, congratulations on the new role, uh, Project Officer. Can you just describe what that role is going to involve? Yeah, thanks. Um, it's an honor to be employed. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm really excited about this particular role. It's, it's something uh, Gavin and Makel and I have been in discussions about for quite a long time off the back of my injury in 2019 and the back of my, my master's degree um, in sports directorship. And, you know, he's been kind enough to kind of give me the time to, you know, discuss what this could potentially look like. And in essence, the role is just looking at various projects within the organization, but specifically for the women's team to kind of understand where the competitive advantage lies. Um, and that can be going back through the past and looking at the things that we did well, things that we could change, um, and you know, where we can adapt. Um, you know, whether that's gonna be future talent pathways, whether that's gonna be recruitment, you know, what that looks like. Um, but it's something really exciting for me to get my teeth, you know, well, get stuck into and kind of really explore. Um, but what's also really exciting about it is you know, the stuff that sits alongside it in terms of the career and the personal development. I mean, I'm in a place like this with amazing resources and incredible knowledge and people who are so open and willing to help. Um, so I'm going to get a chance to go and speak to various people, work alongside people in, you know, st strategy, HR, comms, data. Uh, the list is endless. Um, and I just can't wait to kind of, you know, what is, what's the phrase, like, be, be comfortable being uncomfortable, because I think it's all just, it's all going to be so new. So, I mean, at times, it, it already, it's feel like I've been, um, what's it, like, drinking out of a fire hose, you know, and it's just been full on. But um, just like football, I think you put yourself in an environment to, to really develop and get stretched, and, and you'll, you'll, you'll learn really quickly. So it's been fun so far. It sounds really exciting. Like you've kind of mentioned, it seems like you can take this role wherever you think it needs to be taken and, and it's also developing you as well. So uh, understand you, you must be absolutely delighted to be doing it and to, to shape it how you want as well. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, you know, a lot of the things that Gavin's kind of put in front of me, you know, he's like, right, what are you interested in most? OK, like, let's explore that, um, you know, and what that looks like, how it's going to translate on the pitch is probably going to be something really interesting. Um, we don't really know what that looks like at the minute, but on the other hand, the, also, the other important thing to consider is, you know, creating career pathways for retired professionals and <laughs> getting people to understand that, you know, there is a life after professional sport and that you can, you know, create your own roles. You can essentially, like, if you, if you want to, you can create a position where with the passion and enthusiasm that you have, essentially explore anything in, in order to improve performance or in, improve a performance environment or something like that. So um, ultimately, it, it's kind of new. It's, it's something that I've certainly never done before. I'm not aware of if it's in, been done before at another women's club. Um, I know they exist, obviously, within different organizations. But um, to have that indirect tie and link back to what's actually going on in the pitch is probably what's the most enticing about this this role. Absolutely and you recently retired yourself obviously from the game so what does it mean to you as well to to be back associated with with a club that you've given so much to and, and that you've had so many good times at as well? Yeah I mean it goes hand in hand really um, obviously back in November 2013 you know the, the idea of creating a women's program was very new and the club they were just all in. I like, just jumped in and said, you know, if we're going to do this, we're going to try and do it properly. And 2014, the launch and, you know, some teething problems here and there, but the strides that we made were just awesome. And it's given me a lot of confidence. It's opened my eyes to, you know, different aspects of football and, you know, the way I perceive football. Um, and that was certainly challenged. And I think I've arguably had some of my best years here at Man City and you know I've it's been such a privilege to represent this club and this organization and to win so many trophies and play alongside such incredible people that to still be a part of it and influence it in some way um, is is just like it's just awesome so 
this club's been so much for me and I can't wait to give back, you know, to not only the club, but women's football and my teammates and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for it. You mentioned there how you, your perspectives kind of changed on football. So it, in what ways, both during your time at the club and also in this role so far? Yeah, I think um, when I first came to City, my exposure to elite football was relatively limited. Um, and it's not just the football, it's also the coaching, um, the way you think about technique and tactics. That was something that was very, very new. Obviously, Man City has a very ingrained identity and methodology. And it was a bit of a struggle to learn to start with because you have to get your technique up to a standard where you can deliver the tactics. And I think um, that was, that was, there were some teething problems there <laughs> for everyone, I think. But you could see, like, as soon as you bought in, the physical, the technical development, the tactical understanding, um, you know, we were flying after that. I think 14, 2014, we obviously upset Arsenal in the League Cup final. No one expected us to do that. Um, 2015, we qualified for Champions League. 2016, we ran away with everything. Um, and it, it's just been neck and neck ever since. And yeah, it's great as a club, but as women's football in this country, to see it grow in the way that it has is something that I feel really passionate about. And I mean, just thinking about it now, like, yeah, it makes me really proud. Um, so those are just some of the ways that, that being here has changed how I've perceived the game. But then also as it's grown, um, there's been a whole other aspect to it, you know, in terms of the commercial stuff, um, the resources, the outcry for equity and like making sure that everyone has, you know, the resources to be successful. The women's game is in such a unique place and it has such a unique group of people involved in it. And you want to make sure that you don't lose that identity in terms of like the positive impact that players want to make on the pitch, but also off the pitch in the community. And I think that's kind of where City has a real great opportunity to do things differently is like this club is embedded in East Manchester, you know, it has such great community links. Um, and I think that's something really important to kind of keep us grounded is that it's, yeah, it's great football, it's entertainment, but it's always about making things better for the people around us. Um, and that's, yeah, that's certainly something I want to see carry on. Looking back at your role at the moment, how hands-on are you potentially going to be with, with your former teammates, <laughs> with your former staff and all this kind of stuff? Yeah, I think that was one of the questions I raised when I, when I took the position because, like, I still obviously have ties to, you know, my friends are still in the squad. Um, you know, I've still obviously got friends in, in, in the performance staff as well. And I think these relationships are really important to maintain, whether you're on the team or not. You know, you're, <laughs> you want to represent your friends as well as you can, and you want to make sure that things are as good for them as possible. So that for me is like really, really important. Um, yeah, it, it feels really, really nice to just be able to like, I, I popped into training this morning just to see how things were and it's such a fun vibe. It's so nice to be back on the grass. It, it is something that I, I miss training. Like I miss being on the grass. It's like where, where life is simple. <laughs> Talking about your career when you were on the grass, the Karen Barsley who joined City in November, 2013, do you think you back then would have <laughs> would have fathomed, would have understood and everything, oh. the role you're going into now and the progress that's been no, made. No, not at all. I think literally when I signed, I probably only saw myself being here for a handful of years, maybe like a couple of years, because at the time it was such a new project. We didn't really know what to expect. You know, obviously they were new to the WSL and elite football. Um, and the allure was that obviously Man City had said that they were going to do things properly. I think at the time we were three quarters of the way through building the CFA where we sit today. But when I saw the progress that was being made, I thought, like, the city looks like they're going to do this properly. And I think that was like probably the most exciting thing. Um, but now it's time to kick on again, you know, and that's the part that I'm really excited about. And in what ways do you think your role can, can help that, that happen? Um, I think a lot of it's going to be about bringing awareness to, to you know, the decision making. So 
what it's like for us on the pitch, like the pressures that you can expect to feel, face, the things that are important to the team, you know, um, how messages are communicated, you know, where the girls want the game to go. Um, I think those are just some real key elements, but then also it's, it's all just growing so fast. It's kind of hard to, to see what's going to be next, but I think the, the best thing is to kind of just keep pushing the bar, keep pushing the bar and keep trying to make things better. Well, Karen, it's, it's amazing having you back at the club and uh, <laughs> congratulations on the new role. And Thanks, um, yeah. Best of luck with uh, wherever you take it. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's great to be back. <laughs>